Hey guys, I'm Rich from NeoWin. Today I want to talk about Windows 10 Mobile Build 10586.164. Now, last time when I made a video about 10586.122, I waited uh, four or five days after I had used it for a while. Um, I know I'm kind of known for um, the build comes out and I got, I got something uh, hands-on within a few hours, right? But, but it doesn't make sense with these cumulative updates. Right? Because I end up sitting in front of the camera and going, well, it, um, it seems better, but um, we won't know for a few days and we'll see if, uh, if I get the random reboots and we won't know until then. So it doesn't really, it doesn't really help anything to, to make a video right away about these builds. Okay, but I was very impressed with that 122. Um, I had been using it as a daily driver on the 650 here um, and I hadn't had any problems, which is fantastic. Um, so when they released that 164, they released it to um, the release preview, the slow, and the production rings. And it's only production ring for the, the unlocked Lumias. The carrier Lumias would get it over the next week. Um, and they made a point of saying that it was the exact same build as that one, 122, which isn't entirely true. They actually did... Um, have a number of fixes in it. They even went so far as to do a Q&A or like an FAQ for, uh, anticipating the questions that people asked. One of those questions was, why didn't insiders get a chance to test this build? And the answer was, well, you did because it's almost exactly the same as dot .122. And it is almost the same as dot .122, only in the way that all cumulative updates don't have any new features, all right? So... You notice I have three phones in front of me rather than the usual one. In the middle is the 650. That's what I've been using as the daily driver. On the left is the Lumia 930. And on the right is the Lumia 535. Those two phones are both widely known for having problems. And we're going to see. We're going to check these in a little bit. All right. So here's what they fixed. Improvements for the reliability of app notifications, including text messages and alarms not ringing as scheduled. Improvements for text message backup to reduce data and battery usage. Um, I've never had any problems with text message backup. Fixes for Microsoft Edge with address bar suggestions showing late or persisting during navigation. Close all tabs, not closing all tabs, and word flow on the address bar not functioning as expected. Fix for a problem where the Microsoft account was not detected by the Outlook Mail, Outlook Calendar, and People app. Attempting to add a new contact in the state caused the People app to crash for some users. Uh, fix for a problem that caused the Wi-Fi connection to temporarily switch off after prolonged use for some users. I've had that problem with the Lumia 635. Um, fix for a problem that caused first-party app updates to fail to install successfully for some users, leaving the apps in state where they cannot be launched. I've had that problem many a time too. Improvements for battery usage, Bluetooth connectivity, and OS reliability. All great fixes. And we've noted a few times that... that um, these that they're, they're really at release candidate stages. Um, when you upgrade to this build from 8.1, it says Windows 10 is here. In fact, Windows Central wrote it up that this might be the release candidate because of that message. But um, truthfully, that message has been coming up for the last four or five uh, cumulative updates. It's just been coming up for a while. All right, so let's start with the 535. This is one, the 535, although it's on the short list for, for devices to get Windows 10 Mobile first, this is a device that's been that's had problems with Windows 10 Mobile since day one. You notice you got a little black bar across the top there, um, and there's no reason for that at a four by three aspect ratio. At 16 by nine, it makes sense um, because it might not actually fit the the whole screen, but um, four by three, there's really no reason for it to be like that because it's not filling up the whole screen, All right? So that's one problem. That's always been a problem with. Um, with the Lumia 535, um, although by the way, it has gotten so much better um, since since the <laughs> since the beginning, where it would kind of flicker between full screen and that that kind of chunk being missing there. So at least it looks better now. Temple Run 2, all games. I've heard so many complaints about this. You notice the black bar missing at the bottom. Um, it's fine on the splash screen because that doesn't really matter. But once you start playing, you're missing some important controls or you're missing part of those controls, which is it's not okay. And it, it's really interesting that it's like this because, like I said, Lumia 535 is on the short list to get, to get um, Windows 10 Mobile first. All right, you notice that the, the pause button is kind of covered up there. 
Um, it's not even the, the navigation bar because the navigation bar is bigger. All right, so that wasn't fixed. Um, Lumia 930 as well. We all know about the Lumia 930 issues. This is another one that I just hear about all the time. Um, video recording. Testing. One, two, three, four, five. All right, and let's play it back. Make sure the volume is all the way up. And you can't hear a thing. No, wait, you can. It's it's almost impossible to hear, but there, there is some audio being recorded. Many people have suggested to me that this is going to require a firmware update to fix. I don't see why it would. Um, when they can make it work fine with Windows Phone 8.1. The microphone works fine in the phone app. I don't, I don't see why it would require firmware. Um, we know that the official production Windows 10 mobile update for older devices is not going to be bundled with firmware, at least in the same way that Windows Phone 8.1 was um, with Lumia Cyan. It, it, some phones might get firmware updates prior to it uh, or after it, but it's going to be separate in the same way that the Lumia 950 and the 950 XL get firmware updates every month. So let's go back to the 650 because with the exception of these two phones, I, I have not had any issues with this build. Um, it's, it's a cumulative update, so it's just getting better, right? Um, I, well, you know what? I shouldn't say I haven't had any issues because I did have one issue. It's, a, it's an issue that we've all noticed on Windows Phone and Windows 10 Mobile alike. Um, it tells me that my, my Gmail account settings are out of date, which wasn't happening before the build. It started happening almost immediately after. I removed the account, edited it back, and everything was fine. Now, that's not saying that that's okay. Um, it's not okay. These, th these bugs have to be fixed, right? Um, just, just saying there's a workaround for it doesn't make it okay. Um, but yeah, other than that, I've, I've found the, the build to be incredibly stable. I play games on my phones, when I, especially when I'm reviewing them. Um, and I found games to be pretty smooth, which in other, in other builds it wasn't. In other builds it would just kind of get stuck, and then you'd keep going again. Um, I've, I found it to be very smooth on this, this build. Um, I, I want to say that it's ready for prime time. It's ready to be a release candidate. Some devices might, might need device-specific firmware. That's fine. They can do that. Um, other than that, it's, it, I think it's ready to go. Um, so that's about it. Um, this build is out on the production ring. This is, in fact, this is one of the few phones that I have where this build is actually out in the production ring. It's not on the insider preview. Anyway, guys, that's about it. I'm Rich from NeoWin. Have a great night.